Hey, what's going out there, YouTube? SCL0320. Got my lovely wife, Alicia, here representing JVS. We are back for another review for Gifted. I think this is like the fifth episode, but let me make sure. Mm. It's the sixth episode. Sixth episode. Ironically, the name of this episode is I Got Your Six. Oh. So, um, we're going to talk about what we kind of thought about this episode. I'm going to let Alicia go first. What do you think about it, babe? I actually really, really, really enjoyed this episode. I think this show is getting better with every episode. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. really enjoying, like, seeing the different family dynamics and seeing, like, the kid, like, their brother and sister, like, grow in their powers. Yeah. Um, I'm, like, kind of understanding, like, you know, like, the one guy played by Kobe Bell. I forget his name. The the officer played by Kobe Bell. Like, how he's not really, like, a bad guy. He just had, like, Jace. his... Jace. Um, just to see, like, he's that way. He's upset because his daughter died. And, like, seeing him now getting caught up with this scientist who... We know the scientist is evil. The scientist is always evil. It's like the evil scientist. So, it's like, you see, like, the cop kind of... Um, Jace, like, he has more of a noble reason. His method is bad, but he's more noble in his reason. With scientists, we know he's up to no good. Anyway, I like that they're, like, kind of preparing us for what's to come. Um, I'm really excited about that and really excited to see kind of other people's powers. Like, this episode, we got to see the one guy who can, like, make an illusion of, like, oh, places. Yeah. I'm like, that's dope. Because, I mean, for the first few episodes, we've seen, like, just a few powers. But I'm trying to, like, I mentioned in seeing everyone else's powers and seeing how that evolves and just seeing the relationship between with the two parents um, and their kids because they don't have any power. So it's like everyone else around them does. But seeing them trying to like navigate like their kids and who their kids are now and what their kids need and just like those powerful moments between the father and the son as the boy like really starts to develop his power. I think it's really cool. I really like this show a lot. It's like my Monday favorite after loving hip hop, don't judge me. But it's like my Monday favorite. For shame. So I, I watch Ratchet TV shame. To myself, and then we watch the shame. Get together. Shame. Says the man. I'm not gonna talk about what you watch, Ratchet. See, that's what it's called covering your husband. I, love I you, did. Man. I covered you. But um, to piggyback off what she said, the dynamics between you know the kids that you know have these accelerated powers, even like uh, Eclipse was saying, like oh. these kids are very gifted. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to teach them how to survive. And the fact that the mom, in her mind, is like, I don't want my kids to do this. I want them to be normal. But they aren't normal. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because Lauren, she was talking with her friend. And he's like, mom really just doesn't understand. I was, like, holding my powers in this whole entire mm -hmm. time. And so she's kind of made a friend. He actually has this ability of being able to create an atmosphere. It's, so it's, it's cute. I, I don't trust him yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm really overprotective. I'm going to be the overprotective dad eventually. But um, yeah. But the reality is that with the dad and the son, like it's that's hard, man. Like he he came from a place of like not just persecuting mutants, but thinking them as a threat, you know. So all he sees is like their destructive ability, mm -hmm. and all the son wants is that self recognition. So I thought that was a really good story arc. It was interesting though. Blink left, um, because she's dealing with this emotional turmoil, like. She got lied to, you know, and she can't stand the fact that she's in love with this man. The other thing about it, though, is Thunderbird actually loves and likes her. I don't know if he loves her, but he has feelings for her. And he's, and he's not really dealing with it. But it was nice to see, you know, that flashback of him, you know, trying to do right. And then society just kind of crumbling onto him. And the realization that the X-Men handpicked him. To, you know, survey the underground. I thought that was a really good plot Dope. point. So that leads me to believe that there's going to be some stuff coming because Eclipse is, you know, Magneto's daughter. So it's like, does the Brotherhood and the X-Men work together in the future? Or, you know, what? where is this going? But the Doctor is up to no good. And I think Alicia's been saying from Jump that he wants both of the siblings together because he recognizes that that is something that he can exploit. The combining uh -huh. of powers. Um, and he's got his own mutant that's kind of just tailored with him. it has got the tattooed and everything. And I'm not sure what it can do. You know what it reminds me of? What was that <clears throat> one um, X-Men movie where it was the one mad scientist whose son was a mutant and he used his son to track mutants? Oh, X2. And that was uh, Stryker. Stry it reminds me of Stryker. But back to the baby green eyes. She needs to bring her tail back home. They is in a war. 
They need her to make holes and portals. Baby Green Eyes, come on back. For oh, for stuff. some reason, I thought you were talking about Eclipse. What's Baby second. Green Eyes' name? Blink. Blink. Blink likes Thunderbird. That's okay. The reality. Blink by episode 70 to bring your tail home. This is a war, and we don't got time for them to turn you because you're going to be portaling the bad guys into the safe space. It's it's all going to come back to a head because I feel like Thunderbird should have been honest with the fact that, like, look, I, I did love you. But I got feelings for this girl, you know, and you're kind of a byproduct her name? of it. Dreamer. I don't know what her name is. I think is. her name is Dreamer. But she ain't she gonna make it. Dreamer. Somebody, this somebody's long Yo, overdue for taking an L. He been waiting for somebody to take an L. Somebody's gonna take an L, you guys. Like, Let oh, me know in the comment section. It's gonna be the dad who gonna take that. Who do y'all think is gonna die? Like somebody's gonna take an L. I feel like it's gonna be two people, honestly. I think it's gonna be the Dreamer girl and the dad. <laughs> and I'm hopeful that everyone makes it through this season. But uh, I give this episode uh, a 9 out of 10. I actually enjoyed it. I, I love the visual effects. The visual effects for this show is actually Dope. pretty good. They put some money into the show, and it's actually engaging. It's very different each episode. And like she said, they always ramp it up. But um, hopefully you enjoyed this review. I know. You haven't seen us together in a review for a minute. My All bad, right. guys. Mm. No, it's not my fault. It's because I be going to sleep, and he be staying up late. Yeah. Keep it locked, JVS. We ain't gonna stop. No stopping. Peace, guys. Bye.